36-year-old Monica has been unhappy for years with the appearance of her upper anterior teeth. A number of permanent teeth have never been developed. In addition, she finds the diastemas annoying. Ceramic facings are selected for the aesthetic correction. Digital smile design suggested that, to achieve a harmonious smile for Monica, it would be advisable to apply restorations to teeth 14 to 63. The 63 is still present. The gingiva and jawbone will be corrected. Since the short root would provide inadequate grip in the case of that tooth, the choice was made to replace this deciduous tooth with an implant, combined with gingiva adjustment. Four months after the implant has settled, the porcelain facings are placed. The dental laboratory has produced a wax-up and a putty mold based on the DSD. The wax-up is used to create a resin copy and is placed in the mouth to make sure that as little healthy dental tissue as possible will be removed, while at the same time ensuring that a sufficient amount is removed to achieve a good final result. With a special depth cutter with 0.5 mm notches grooves are made in the buckle plane through the synthetic resin. Grooves with a depth of 1.5 mm are then made in the incisal plane. The teeth are then roughly prepared to the depth of these grooves and any residual resin is removed from the teeth. Now, a finer diamond burr is used for the final preparation. A shoulder depth of 0.5 mm is desirable, as is preparation well beyond the contact points at the location of the diastemas. The preparations are finished and polished using polishing discs and cups. Rubber dam is then applied to teeth 14 to 25 before the cementation of the lithium desilicate facings. Each tooth onto which a facing has been cemented is individually separated. An extra incisor clamp is used and local anesthesia is therefore recommended at all times. The facing is then fitted again to make sure that it is not touching either the rubber dam or the clamp. The facing is then etched with fluoric acid followed by extensive rinsing. To remove etching residuals, the restoration is further etched using phosphoric acid, after which it is once more rinsed clean and blown dry. The etched inside of the facing is even dull. Ceramic Primer Plus is then applied and gently blowed dry. The tooth is then preheated. It is separated from neighboring teeth by means of a transparent strip after which the enamel is etched using phosphoric acid. A gentle water spray is used for thorough rinsing, followed by drying. The tooth primer is applied for 20 seconds and then gently blown dry. Panavia V5 cement is then applied to the facing before it is gently pushed into position. A micro brush is then used to remove most of the excess cement. The cement is then light cured palatally and buckily for 5 seconds, after which any remaining excess material is removed. Glycerine gel is applied to the outline for complete polymerization, and the facing is light cured from the palatal and buckle side for at least 10 seconds. Finally, the gel is rinsed out and the outline polished.